azkicksit.com attended Phoenix FC practice Thursday as the team prepared for their first ever home game against Tampa Bay. We chatted with midfielder Reed Schmidt, goalkeeper Andrew Weber, and head coach David Robertson about how much it means to play in front of their home crowd. It means the world to me. I, uh, last year I played at uh, FC Tucson up in Tucson and it was uh, tough with all the fans up there just because they weren't my home fans and it was just my mom and dad and now it's my whole from everything I brought up to just from Ahwatukee crowd, from Tempe crowd to Scottsdale, I got over what, over 50 people coming so it means a lot to me. It's amazing, you know, to be able to, you know, play professional soccer in front of my family and friends and in, in my home state is, is going to be great, you know, I, I mean, I've been in some pretty electric atmospheres, you know, playing with Seattle was a pretty amazing time with, you know, 40,000 fans and stuff, so, but to come home and, and be able to play in front of these fans here and and be a part of history is, is something special and and I'll always remember it. It's a, it's a piece of history, um, the first game here for Phoenix FC Wolves and you know obviously there's going to be a little bit of tension, a bit of nerves with the players but everybody's just desperate to get playing again and, and I do feel that you know we're ready, we're ready last week, we'll be ready again this week, preparations have been good and you know we hope to make it a, a first class occasion. Coach Robertson also shared some insight into the team's substitutions, injuries, and mindset going in to Saturday's matchup. Jose, Devon, and um, Darren are out. Um, Jose obviously won't make it this week. Um, there's a chance that uh, Devon and Darren will both make it. There's a chance he could both make it, but you know, if you get one of them, I think it'll be be a, be a bit of a bonus. And you know, if not, we should have everybody fit for the following week, Orlando. I think more likely Scott Morrison will play in there. He he ended up playing there in the second half um, against LA and you know did a good job. And I think it's important we get a good bit of experience in there. And Scott's certainly an experienced guy. He's played there before. You know, obviously Obo's going to be a miss, um, but you know I think Scott will go in there do a good job and you can organise things in there. No team's ever going to give up. But in the first game it was it was excellent and you know the mood in the the camp is is pretty good. The guys are you know looking to carry on with a left off last week. You know is. So, so many, even the result didn't go away. But there were so many, so many positives um, during last week's game that you know everybody you know knows how well we did, um, and there's a, a good togetherness. You know, everybody's quietly confident for this weekend. You know, obviously it's Tampa will be thinking the same things as us. You know, they a new franchise. You know, I'll be honest with you. You know, myself and the coaching staff and um, the players were a little bit concerned. You know. Are we at the level? Can we play at this level? You know, it's a lot of apprehension. We feel that the way we were ready, um, and then when we took to the field, you know, I think we played. Uh, you know, we, we we did some good things during the game, so we are definitely at that level. And, and I've told our players that you know, Tampa will be exact same as what we they haven't got that first game under a belt. A new franchise, are they at the level? Uh, more than likely they will be, but you know, they'll just have a little bit of apprehension about coming here. You know, and by the signs of it, this is going to be a sold out game. So. I think for me it's going to be great, you know, and I think the players, you know, they're sometimes a good hostile crowd, it sort of gives you that extra edge, the extra man. Um, you know, last week we had to play a man down, so hopefully this week we can have a man up with, uh, with the supporters. For more Arizona soccer news, log on to azkicksit.com.